Yo, what up, everybody? This is Beetle5, also known as Nick from Matthews Gaming, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Outlast. Now, Father Martin, our supposedly thought ally, has gone bonkers on us and did the old crucifixion on himself. So, now he's promised a way out, but as we go into the elevator, it took us deeper than we wanted to go. So now, whatever this place is... We're gonna enter! Oh! Oh my god. Oh, what? This is. It, it, this is. This kind of reminds me of. What is it? The Cabin in the Woods. About how the whole thing is really just a reality show, and that, like, underground, it's like an actual scientific facility used to create nightmares and shit. I wonder if this is, like, the same thing. That'd be a hell of a twist. It? Oh! This is. This is the place that Father Martin showed me before where all the uh, soldiers were being tossed around. This is where they all died. The Wall Rider Project. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is exact. Oh. Oh, dear. These people weren't just tossed around. They were completely masticated from the looks of it. Alrighty. So, moving on. But, yeah, this totally reminds me of Cabin in the Woods. I have a feeling it's like this, that 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 that, 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 that this is what it actually is. It's all just some kind of conspiracy or some shit, and it's like a setup or something. None of this is actually real. It's all just a stage or something. I mean, they made those people. The people up there were all really just experiments gone wrong, and they could continue to do it as many times as they want to down here until they get it right. I figured there'd be a battery in this empty room. I'm not just missing it, man. I guess I could really. Oh, I actually, see, you know, <laughs> I actually see better without that stupid camera now with a cracked lens. I'm gonna walk around. I'm not really gonna use my camera unless I absolutely must. There's no reason for me to do it anymore. Oh, that's a good thing to leave in a sink. Oh, there's some heads in a jar. This is all just so nice. Look at all this. This is a bloody massacre. Hello. Oh, hi. Alright, let's go. Oh. Yeah, if I were to screw stuff up here, I bet it would mess up the asylum upstairs pretty badly. Oh. Whoa! Outside! And now this is starting to look like, like a military Humvee kind of thing. Are we like in the desert or some shit now? Are we in Afghanistan? Is that what this whole place is now? Is this like, or, or, or Pakistan or some shit? Wolfiogenic engine. Hey. Ha 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 ha! This is the Morphogenic engine. A few lines of the mathematics and algorithm reprogram us. Turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Werdeke's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. Will I actually see Dr. Wernicke? Because I thought the guy was just dead. And they kept saying, what kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on live patients? That kind of lead me to the assumption that Dr. Wernicke was uh, not alive anymore. And now I need my camera. Okay, I guess I'm not going this way. Let's go this way. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Wall Rider! He's trying to kill me! Is the Wall Rider still chasing me? Oh, I hit the reload. Oh, I, did. I didn't do it good. Uh, I'm not gonna find out if he's the Wall Rider still chasing me. Jump! I'm assuming he's still chasing me. Ah! It's you! No! No, no, no! <gasps> oh! Oh! Yeah! The Wall Rider's kicking his ass! Woo! Whoa. Oh! Oh, I only see him in night vision! Oh! 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 Fatality! <laughs> wow! That was sick! This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You escaped one hell, Chris Walker. 
God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Chris Walker, is that the name of that guy? I never would have taken him for a name like that, but holy shit! He brutally murdered him! That's it! The Naked Brothers, Father Martin, Dr. Traeger, the big zombie man, all removed. I have no more enemies to worry about now. Huh? Except maybe the wall right. Oh! Oh dear. Are you Dr. Wernicke? No such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. Who's Billy? He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? Yeah, it's actually... It horns of a nano hazard. I wouldn't have guessed that. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Are you like Stephen Hawking? Can you like, like actually talk? discovered in my research a workaround. Turning the cells in the human body into nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules. But through psychosomatic direction, we engineered the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. Okay, but who is this Billy, and what significance does he hold? That... Couldn't I just... Oh, it's broken. I'm like, couldn't I just pick up a gun? Like this in 1944. Those fascists thought it was spirits. But I let them believe it. Let them kill themselves, thinking there was some kind of afterlife now empirically promised to them. Fools. Poor Aaron. I'm leaving blood footprints! From his dreams. Billy doesn't mean harm. Ha! He's a child with a damaged mind. Granted the powers of a god. That's hysterical! I leave blood footprints! You must end this. You all must die here. Oh, that's fucking cool. Alright, bloody footprints. Alright, so I guess I'm killing Billy for some reason. I don't really know who Billy is and what significance he holds, but I don't think this was open before. I have a feeling though, no more bad guys are actually going to come after me now, so I don't need to be as afraid. Now that literally all my enemies have been wiped out, my only- actually, now that I think about it, the only guy I really have to worry about now is the wall right. He's my only threat at this point. Nobody else is really going to hurt me but him. And he has his off days. Sometimes he'll decide to kill me, and other times he just passes by and lets me be, you know. It all depends on what movie's in. Bloody footprints. Whoa, whoa, blood, bloody foot. Oh, I'm not leaving him. That's hysterical, though. Leaving blood footprints. That's fucking funny. I figured there'd be a battery or something useful in here. What's this place making me run around for? All these are just a bunch of empty rooms. This place is nothing. Except just a bloody massacre. There's literally nothing in here that benefits me at all. But apparently I gotta find Billy. I wonder if my notes say anything about Billy. No. Okay, I gotta say Billy's stuff is probably... All in that documentary shit that I'm... What? Oh, oh, Rider. Damn it. No! 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 Don't kill me! No! Oh shit! What happened? I guess he killed me. Alright, so I do have to worry about the Wall Rider. He's my one and only threat now up to this point. And like it or not, I actually need the camera to see him, so. Run! 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 Run!
run for it. Right? Run past. Oh god, uh, where am I going? Guess backwards. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh, there's a door there. Dirt. Uh, I'm just gonna guess that you can phase through doors, so there's no point of actually closing them. Oh shit, you're fast. Ah, uh, you can't reach through cracks. Oh shit, you can. Alright, alright. No good really trying to run from a ghost. Nah. Oh, dear God, I hope you can't get in here. Okay, I guess you're not following me anymore. Documents. Alright, back in the ice. Um. Alright. This place looks big. What the fuck is all this? I don't really need batteries. <laughs> I never thought I'd reach the point in this game where I actually don't need batteries. Here it is. Fuck is all this? Let's go this way. Turn off the valve for the life support fluid reserver. Is this is this thing Billy? Or oh shit, is this Billy? Oh fuck! Look at you. Oh dear God. Uh. All right, let's turn this shit off somehow. He ain't gonna be any threat to me unless he can control like robotics or some crazy shit. Which would stink. Alright. So, I'm looking for. What am I looking for again? Okay. Turn off the valve. Okay, the valve. So. I know what valves look like. Oh, hi! What's up? I never thought I'd see one of you locos down here. Something tells me the valve is probably on one of these bulbs. Oh, there we go. The failsafe isn't activated, it can't be turned off. Uh, let's try over here. Aha! There we go. Leave it to signs to point you in the right direction. Alright. Life support. Bam. What do we got? How do we turn this shit off? Oh man, look at all this stuff. This totally goes outside the whole Outlast environment. <laughs> I feel like now I'm playing Penumbra. This is kind of what this place is starting to remind me of now. I don't know if I can. Oh! More okay. I don't know if I can activate any of this shit. Uh, I don't know what to turn. Oh, valve. Booty boop. Do not turn the valve. I just turned the valve. Oh dear, it sounds like Billy is dying. All right, er. There you are. What am I writing down? This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all, he has to die. I couldn't have said it better myself. But unfortunately now I must run from the wall right. I guess I'm going back to the main room. Alright, we're running. This may seem stupid, but maybe doors might slow him down somewhere. <gasps> Let's see if this works now. Nope. How do I stop him? Are we up here? Oh, fuck. Oh, yo! That 
didn't work at all. So what am I supposed to do now? Oh. Uh, there. Cut off the electric supply from the sub generator. Oh no! No, no, no! No, 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 go me! Oh no! Damn it! I did. Right. So now he's doing the wall rider. Pops up again. Wall rider's up. So now I make my daring escape. I had to find this electricity place, which I'm assuming is another door inside the main room. That's my guess. Well, now you open these doors kind of more gentle than you used to. Seriously, you do this now. Why the hell couldn't you have opened doors like this throughout, oh, I don't know, the whole rest of the fucking game? That would have been rather nice. Alright, maybe whatever I'm supposed to hit is over here. Oh, nope, that door is shut. Fuck. I don't know. Oh, you're over there. Okay. Where is this electrical support thingy? Maybe it's in another door. Yeah, go to hell. Maybe it's something else around here. If I'm wrong about this, this is a one-way ticket. <laughs> There's no other way for me to go around the wall rider. I like turn them around up here, which that's gonna be a little difficult to do. Oh, please be, oh, please do something, do something! God damn it! At least they're actually like, no, no, decent enough to go off the stairs. Go around! Alright. Master Navigator, baby. Catch me now. How you like me now? How you like me now? I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to find a stupid electric supply in the sub generator. I'm assuming it's gotta be in that main room. There was no other path. All it was is this area and the main room. That's it. There's nowhere else for me to go. I can't go back because that door closed off. So it's gotta be a button somewhere. Around. Why isn't it this? Work, damn it! Oh, is it because I'm missing a finger? Damn it! Damn it! I don't know! Uh, this is a one way trip. I'm done after this. He's gonna kill me up here. Oh! Okay, well now I know where I'm going. Oh, it's a crack! There's a crack right there. I'm getting squeezed through. Why did I do this shit with you before? <sighs> oh my god. Alright. Here we go. Just running now. Gotta be so pro about this. So pro. Later. Uh, go up those lousy stairs. You figure the life support system would already kill this fucker. But I guess not. So... Squeeze to the crack. Later, wall rider. Catching me. Where are you? Ah, oh, when I do that, shut these doors. You're not following me still, are you? Alright, up the stairs, really, really high. 
Watch things. Oh boy. All these stairs. Hiya! Oh, okay. Running. What? What? He hit me? Run! Go to hell, Wall Rider. You're not getting in here. For some reason, you can't phase through decontamination chambers, which means I'm in the clear. What documents? It's got. I don't even know why I picked these up. Bam! Let's fuck around with this stuff. Yeah! Bazoop, bazoop, bazoop. Power down. Seriously going back. I'm seriously going back. Okay. Watch the wall rider be right outside here. Wall rider. I know you're here. You nasty son of a bitch. Where are you? Where is he who rides the wall? Whoa! 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 actually got a good look at the guy. His face kind of reminds me of Death from Darksiders. That's what his, his face is like, it's shaped like. <laughs> cool. Alright. Now hopefully that's all I need to kill this guy. Walmart is trying to stop me. What else do I need to do? Disable his life support. Fail safe! Bam! Alright. You're dead. Dead Billy. It's over for you. Oh, oh! No! No! Please don't kill me! Oh! Now he's telekinetically throwing me around the room! I need to see you. Yeah! He's like a ghosty skeleton. Oh god, no, my camcorder! Rah! Oh! Oh, you just possessed me! This is the music from the main menu. Oh, I'm limping now. Documentaries. Oh. Climb. Come on, Miles Upshner. Don't let the wall rider control you. Don't become one of these crazy cannibalistic freaks. We've completed Dr. Wernicke's work. We've killed Billy Hope. And Dr. Traeger, and the Zombie Man, and the two giant penis dudes, and Father Martin. We are going to escape this alive and tell the authorities the crazy shit that went down here. We are going to stop Murkoff Corporations and all that shit that I didn't read. And we are going to become the greatest reporter in the world. We might even beat Peter Parker. Him and his stupid photography. Oh. Come on, keep walking. Keep walking. Go. Oh. Come on. Wernicke! And authorities! No, wait! Don't shoot me! No, no, no! Oh.
Oh. oh my god! I get it now! They saw me that I looked like I was all fucked up or whatever and I was possessed by the wall rider! Since I had become the new host, I'm guessing that whoever Billy was, Billy was the host of the wall rider. But since I killed him, the wall rider decided to take me as the host and after I died, he killed everybody else there. So basically it's all just the legend of the wall rider. That's what did all this shit in the end. This spiritual entity that I think was created by Dr. Wernicke. Holy shit. That was incredible. Oh man. What a game that was. I gotta say, I mean, I mean not only was this run on such a great engine, it, just, it had it. I'm, I'm sure that if I actually took the time to look at this, to re, like read the documents and all that stuff, I'm sure it would have been. I, I would have understood the story really well, and it would have been really, really good. I bet, I bet it would. But even, even from not reading the documents, I already, I already absorbed enough of that story to realize what was going on. But holy shit, that was so well made. I gotta say that these people did a hell of a job with this game. They truly did. I'm, I'm baffled. And now I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna do the DLC whistleblower in the future. I mean, I might. I'm just, I'm, I'm not sure. Depending on what it is. I mean, I think it's just a whole nother campaign story, but I kind of want to move on to other things like, um, no, I'm not gonna ramble on that. <laughs> when I'm gonna play in the future, I'll just figure it out at the time. But anyways, thank you so much to sticking with me through the, these videos and watching me play <laughs> Outlast. I mean, it, it's been a hell of a ride. It was, it's was it such a great game. I'm so glad to have played this. But thank you so much for watching me play Outlast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to me and to Optus Gaming on what we should play in the future or what I should play next. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!